Hello and welcome to another episode of IPL Spotlight. The Chennai Super Kings, they have won their fifth title and MS Dhoni is not going away. Well, he has confirmed that uh, he will probably play another season of IPL uh, and he is not retiring at the end of the 2023 season. Uh, when he was asked, you know, he said uh, the right thing would be to retire now, the best thing would be to retire now. Yeah, it's easy for him, right? Everyone would want to go on a high. If you look at someone like Ambati Raidu, he has been a great servant of the IPL and uh, he retired on a high. Like, uh, you take the cup and you retire. But MS Dhoni said he wants to give it back to the fans. The word he used was gift. But I think he meant gratitude or something like that because he wants to play another season for the love and affection that the Super Kings have uh, shown, that Ch Chennai Super Kings fans have shown. Not just the Chennai Super Kings fans, everywhere he went, like all the eight, nine venues that he went uh, during IPL 2023, he was given roaring reception all across the country. Uh, but today he, we are here not to talk about MS Dhoni, but the bromance between Ravindra Jadeja and MS Dhoni. And uh, you know, it's the redemption story, the perfect redemption story, right? Ravindra Jadeja hitting the winning runs and finishing it for CSK and the fans cheering for him. You know, a couple of uh, days back, he had posted on uh, Twitter saying that he was literally hurt by, you know, people uh, not cheering for him, people cheering for him when he got out because MS Dhoni walked in next. Uh, always when Jadeja batted higher than MS Dhoni and MS Dhoni was about to come next and people even chanted we want Dhoni when Jadeja and his non-striker was batting. Even in Delhi, uh, when I went there to watch the match, uh, they were chanting Dhoni's name when Jadeja and Shivam Dube were batting. Of course, it would hurt a professional player, a professional player of Ravindra Jadeja's quality, the, one of the best all-rounders in the world, if not the best all-rounder. And he took it out, he took the frustration out and he put it on Twitter saying that even the brand that gives the most valuable player knows my value but some Chennai Super Kings fans, some fans, he didn't mention Chennai Super Kings fans, some fans don't know my worth. But at the end of the day, he was there in the middle after Dhoni got out for a golden duck. We all thought when MS Dhoni walked out in the seventh, in the 13th over that he would finish it for uh, Super Kings. We all thought who, who's writing the scripts for MS Dhoni and Chennai Super Kings. But it was not meant to be. Mohit Sharma, one of MS Dhoni's former CSK teammates and India teammates, got him out for a golden duck. And the equation came down to like 13 runs in the last over and the first four balls, Mohit Sharma bowled it perfectly well. And the equation boiled down to 10 runs from two balls and we all thought, you know, Ravindra Jadeja, would he be able to pull it off or would he not be able to pull it off? But Jadeja showed his class, his experience and his calmness and composure under pressure. Hit a six, hit a four and hit the winning runs. And the way he ran after that, he set off for the victory lap. And the way MS Dhoni, you know, gave him that tearful hug, you know, lifted him. Have we ever seen MS Dhoni this emotional? And he kind of showcased his love. He, throughout the season, he has been backing Ravindra Jadeja. You know, even when the fans controversy was going on, he was constantly praising Ravindra Jadeja's efforts. 173 runs this season, 170 odd runs this season and 20 wickets. Jadeja has proved his worth. In fact, keep in mind, he was the costliest player for Chennai Super Kings for more than 16 crores, I think, and Dhoni came next. Uh, Dhoni allowed Jadeja to take that, you know, uh, that position of uh, the number one in the team and he proved them right, right? Ex especially after last year in 2022, if you all know, the day before the start of the IPL, um, MS Dhoni quit as captain and handed over the reins to Ravindra Jadeja. But Jadeja unfortunately was not able to do well. After eight games, he stepped down and he gave the captaincy back to MS Dhoni. Uh, there were a lot said about how Jadeja could not flourish as captain. He won two matches of the first eight matches of the eight matches that he led. I think CSK won two matches of the eight matches he led and things didn't pan out well. And, uh, at the end of the season, he was ruled out due to an injury. Uh, so this was a perfect redemption story for Ravindra Jadeja, right? And even MS Dhoni said last year about some spoon feeding or something, but it all turned. And Jadeja put the icing on the cake after the IPL final, saying that he is dedicating this fifth IPL trophy, CSK's fifth IPL trophy to the special person MS Dhoni. Well, we might not know whether Ravindra Jadeja is uh, going to be leading again. Well, do, don't you think he, he should be given another chance to lead again? I personally think MS Dhoni might go that route, giving Ravindra Jadeja another chance to lead Chennai Super Kings. Let's wait and watch. Dhoni has confirmed that he would stay on at least for one more season. Uh, we will bring you all the updates, not just from the IPL. The World Test Championships is coming on and the French Open is going on. We'll get you all the updates from the sporting world on this Spotlight episode. Thank you. Akshay Ramesh signing off.